Get your ass beat, dude. <laughs> gonna go next, dude? All right. Get your ass beat, too? I'm the ass beater. I beat ass. Ground tackle. Oh, snap. Go, go, go. Beat him up, beat him up, beat him up. Come on. Beat him up. Finish him. Oh, shit. Everyone wants to fight. No, you're all getting your ass beat today. No. Oh, you're next, too? Already beat your friend up. Ground tackle. I'll get your ass beat today. Boom. Oh, think think you're strong, dude? Let's go. Oh, shit. Hey, I knocked you out already. Go back to sleep. Go back to sleep. Go to sleep, dude. Seriously, go to sleep. Then, oh, you want, you want next to? Let's go. I don't give up till you you're sure gone. You're man, I People just want to fight me all day. Go to sleep. You no, know, fuck this. Fuck this. I'm not trying to fight people all day. Where's my knife? Oh shit. Oh shit, I'm wanted. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Martian, Mr. Martian. I'm trying to go for me, dude. Chill out. God damn it. Oops. I was wanted. Okay. Let's actually do a mission now because uh, I'm just playing around now. Oh, I died. Shit. 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 Oh, okay, no, we're good. No, we're good, we're good. I hope it doesn't load off to save. Don't tell me it loads off to save. Okay, no, it doesn't load, load off to save. Um, hmm. I guess we're just gonna do all of Bonnie's Mr. missions. Mr. Marston, I've been hearing about your plans. Have you, Miss McFarland? Yes, from Lee Johnson. To settle here and build a life for yourself. I'm afraid those aren't my plans. See, I already have a life. Well, I had one, and I'm trying to reclaim it. Or maybe what you could say is I had two, and I'm trying to end one of them so the other can survive. You do so love to talk in riddles, Mr. Marston. Do you do that? I wonder, as a substitute for having anything interesting to say? Probably, Miss McFarland. Oh... Call me Bonnie, you fool. <sighs> Call me Bonnie. Miss McFarland, I'm married. I have a son. I had a daughter, but she died. Years before that, I rode in a gang. We robbed banks, trains, held people ransom. We killed people we didn't like. Bill Williamson was in that gang. Now, if I don't capture my former brother in arms, great harm will befall my family. Now, I don't suppose any of this is very interesting to you, but I hope it explains why I wasn't so eager to talk about it. No, I do understand. I had no idea. You poor man. Even in this new country, memories don't really fade. My father was an illiterate Scot born on the boat into New York. He never saw his homeland, but to hear him talk about it, you'd imagine he only ever ate haggis and wore a kilt. And he hated the English for what they had done to his great-grandparents that he'd never met. People don't forget. Nothing gets forgiven. That's true, especially when it comes to money. And you know, even now, after all his labors, my father's debts are still terrible. I worry every day about us losing the ranch. It would kill him. My father died when I was eight years old. His eyes were, well, 
Let's just say he was blinded in a bar fight south of Chicago. My mother died during childbirth. She was a prostitute, and he was her... Well, I don't, I don't know what he was. So I was sent off to an orphanage and ran away and fell in with a gang. My word. What a difficult life you've lived. Uh, the leader of the gang taught me how to read, taught me how to see all that was good in the world. He was a great man, in a way. But you killed people. Sure. And I've suffered for it. And that's the life I left, or tried to leave. Ah, uh, said too much, body. I'm an uneducated killer, sent here to do all I can do well. Kill a man in cold blood so that another man may do his part to cut crime in an area, and a rich man can be elected governor on the back of these promises. Civilization is a truly beautiful thing, Mr. Marston. <laughs> Listen, can you help me? Well, I can try. What do you need, money? No, nothing so complicated. I need an extra hand to take out the herd to pasture. <laughs> sure. Point me in the right direction. Mount my horse. It's oh, Bonnie is coming. Budding farmers such as yourself learn how to herd cattle. Yeah. Yeah. Up. Thank you for telling me all that back there. It must have been hard for you. I hope you understand now why I've been playing my cards somewhat close to my chest. I didn't know you had a wife and child. Then again, I don't think I ever asked. They're they're lucky to have a man like you. I ain't so sure about that. But thank you. How are you, Miss McFarland? Easy now. Man, oh shit, what happened? Did she Get even answer him? That should start the movement in the right direction. Slow up. He's got it. Moving. Let's go. go herd the cows out to pasture. Forward, move. Hit the upward up on the D pad, you can make a move very fast. Move it up! Get right at them! Drive it this way! So, move! 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 Come on! Let's move here, my four-legged friends! Yes, my four-legged little buddies. You have begun to uh, begun earning the loyalty of your mount. It has now increased stamina due to this bond. I don't want this mount. This is like my this is where that tree messes up the Keep going, Mr. Boston! Go. Alright, let's move this large herd out to the far pasture. Damn, I gotta do this whole herd. Come on! Come on! We made it. You're not bad with the herd. Ranching might be your true calling, Mr. Marston. Either that, or you were a cow in a past life. Thank you, Miss McFarland. I'll see you later. I have work to do back at the ranch. I am the king of udders. In four dollars. Let's go yeah. back to the barnyard. I have a hundred honor. Gotcha. It's honorable. Ooh, what is that? That's something died over here. 
What did I kill? Was that a snake I just ran over with my horse? This is dirty. Yep, it's a snake. Would have known. Come on. You ever see anything on your map like a, like a little X marks a spot that's like black or dark gray? Run over to it because that's a that's a then how how would you say an object of interest which you can interact with, such as looting or skinning. Well, hello, Mr. Marston. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Did you meet my father? John Marston, this is my father, Drew McFarland. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Marston. Please. So, my daughter informs me that you're here on some secret mission to uh, remove some undesirables from the county. Something like that. I'm grateful for the hospitality, sir. Well, you know, we've lived here for 30 years now. Came here from the east. The land had never been settled. For 10 years, we fought the Indians. Tough men. And we had outlaws, and we had drought, and we had smallpox, and terrible winters, cholera. I buried more of my children than I raised. Sorry to hear that, sir. I've seen strong men wither and die under that unforgiving sun. That whole herd of cattle just take sick and die. But I've never once doubted my life here. No, sir. When I hear about this so-called federal government sending out agents to covertly murder and control people, then I start to worry. I mean, yeah, all right, Williamson is a menace. And men like him are the plague. But isn't a government agent a worse menace? And all that symbolizes, I mean. You may be right, sir. Well, you're a brave man. And you're always going to be welcome here. But you tell your friends out east that we don't want to live like that out here. Sneaking around and spying and secret missions. Right? It's preposterous. Trust me, sir. I agree with you. Good. Well, we won't insult you any further. Come on, Bonnie. We got things to do. Mr. Marston, do you want to join us? It's Daddy's favorite pastime. Apart from political discourse, that is. What is? Breaking in horses. Come on. I hear you're a pretty decent rider. For a city dweller, that is. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go break in some horses. You're gonna need this, Mr. Marston. Rope. Let's see if we can put that new lasso of yours to good use. That ranch said there's a pack of wild horses there nearby. Dun, dun. I want to lasso well, someone. Time to get busy. Shh, shh, shh. I want to lasso someone. Take it easy, you stupid dog. 